Today's video is all about how to decorate like a French woman from an American girl's point of view. I absolutely love French girl style and I love the way that the French decorate their homes and their apartments. French apartments are some of the most beautiful and inspiring and cozy spaces that I've ever seen and so today I'm going to be doing a French bedroom makeover on my very own bedroom and I would say it's already within the French interior design style but I'm adding a few adjustments that are going to take it, I think, to a more French place. And so if you're into that sort of thing, definitely like and subscribe and hit the bell notifications because I'm gonna be doing even more French interior design style tips in the future. Today's video is actually sponsored by Lily Silk and there's gonna be more on that coming up really shortly. So a huge thank you to Lily Silk. As with French style, there are definitely some key things that a lot of French people tend to focus on and obviously they have different resources in France than they do here in the United States and they have a different design and decor history. I think a lot of their architecture, their art, their fashion influences how they decorate their homes and from a lot of the research that I've done they really focus on trying to make the space reflect who they are as a person, make it sentimental, comfortable, functional, and modern. And a lot of those things are definitely things that you could apply to your own personal fashion sense but in today's video I'm gonna be giving you guys some tips and some resources on how to create a French girl style apartment. How to really get that French decor in your own home even if you don't live in France and even if you're not French. A lot of the style philosophies that you'll find French using for their personal style also apply to their home decor. So one of the first things that you're gonna see is a gravitation towards really high-end and luxury and durable materials. Silk being one of them, you'll definitely see a lot of silk, velvet, cotton, leather, wool, cashmere, linen, and wood. You'll see a lot of really high-end and really durable materials being used in their home to create a really luxurious feel but something that is definitely more you know um durable long lasting but they really have a great sense of what is classic and what is sumptuous and what is going to work for a really long period of time and they're more willing to invest in the high-end things and let those things last a long time as I mentioned silk is one of those materials that they really look for and so today's video like I said is sponsored by Lily silk I've actually been able to work with Lily silk before and they're a fantastic company that was founded 11 years ago and they're actually celebrating their 11 year anniversary this August so there's going to be some great deals on their website you can use the code 11 years to get 11% off of your order over $199 and that anniversary sale runs from August 2nd to August 31st 2021 not only does Lily Silk actually create beautiful designs using a really luxury material silk they really do have a focus on working to reduce waste in the fashion industry because as we all know it accounts for 10% of all global carbon emissions and Lily Silk is working really hard to encourage their customers and their clients to buy higher quality pieces that are going to be classic and last a really long time so that you get more wear out of these things and they're going to just be better for your body and better for the environment overall. What's really great about Lily Silk products is not only are they made from that 100% mulberry silk, they also match the OEKO Tex standard. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Basically what that means is that these are certified toxin-free textiles. And not only is silk a really luxurious product, it's also fantastic for your skin, which makes the pillowcases in particular really wonderful for upgrading your decor because it's not just going to look great and add a little bit of extra style to your bed and your bedroom. It's also going to help anti-age you, if you can believe that. Because silk is so soft on the skin, it doesn't allow your face to like create wrinkles and it's it's really really breathable so you're not going to get tangles in your hair it's going to be a long-lasting material 
material and it's definitely machine washable ungentle. You can even iron these pillowcases if you want to. And Lily Silk has also kindly sent me this beautiful set. Um, this is a 100% silk button-up blouse. It's kind of like a deep green, sort of like an army green or forest green. And then I opted for a classic black lace camisole. I kind of feel like the French are really fantastic about looking like their apartments. Some of my French style icons like Jean Thomas, Sabine Sokal, and Anna Laura May are really fantastic at not only designing and decorating their interiors to represent who they are, but matching that design with their style. And so I opted for some really beautiful classic pieces that were missing from my wardrobe. So be sure to head to the description box to get all the links to these beautiful Lily Silk products. Make sure you visit their anniversary sale, which is going to be even better than their Black Friday sale. Check out some of my favorite items that I've pinned from Lily Silk on Pinterest and do some shopping for yourself because you deserve a little bit of an upgrade before we hit fall. Again, right off the bat, one of the things that I've noticed about French interiors is that they really aren't afraid to mix and match colors and prints and patterns. As you can see with my blouse, I've got the black mixed with the army green. And then with my pillowcases, I've got this beautiful teal color, which is definitely more on the green than the blue side. And it matches so well, I think, with this bright orange. It's like a very vibrant orange and then the mauve cotton blanket or cotton muslin blanket. Trying to pick up some of those jewel tones would be fantastic and I was really even also considering getting the pink silk pillowcases from Lily Silk and maybe even doing a silk bedspread or doing like a pink cotton bedspread or a pink linen, linen bedspread. So however you want to mix and match your colors, I would really focus on like a color story and a color family to really create a vibe in your room. I also love the colors of marigold and pink together. I love green and black and green and teal and I really, really love rich browns mixed with different kind of pinks and purples and reds. Like in fashion, they tend to opt for less but better. So let's say you have the option to buy kind of like a cheaper lamp from wherever and then you have the option to buy a really kind of unique but maybe slightly expensive lamp. I would say always save up and opt for the thing that has a little bit more meaning to you. And when I say meaning, I mean it's unique to who you are, not just something that you picked up randomly at Target, for example. Not that Target doesn't have some really cool stuff going on right now, but try to focus on like creating a vibe, making sure that that piece that you're adding in really speaks for itself. It's almost like a sculptural art piece of its own. And you'll notice also that my mirror is a vintage mirror that I found at the thrift store, but it's very French, very Baroque looking, and it's got the black and gold motif as well. I've also layered up the room with this thrifted rug, which is just to die for. I can't even believe that I found it at the thrift store. It was, I think, like $20. But it's a 100% wool handmade rug from Morocco. And speaking of Morocco, you'll also notice in my bedroom, I use a lot of grass woven pieces and that's not an accident. Many of the French influences that are in their interior design style are from Morocco because they have a long-standing history with North Africa and you'll also see in French apartments and in French bedrooms this one thing. They absolutely love having fresh and dried flowers in their apartments. If they got a bouquet, they'll hang it up to dry, and again, that'll become something sentimental for them to have around, and it's a lot cheaper than constantly having to buy bouquets of flowers. Even though that is a really lovely luxury, I do recommend either buying yourself a bouquet of flowers and having, you know, drying it, going through that process, or going ahead and purchasing dried flowers like lavender or even kind of pampas grass that's been dyed a different color and you can see here I've kind of got that whole thing going on. And the final thing that you'll notice is 
in French apartments and bedrooms and pretty much anywhere you go in France is there's this beautiful aroma. I really cannot begin to tell you how unique it was to be in Paris and feeling like everywhere I went, there was just this unique, musky, but really florally fragrant smell. And I think one of the beautiful things that French people do, and is especially through companies like Diptyque, is they'll have diffusers, they'll have candles, they'll have incense, and they'll really create a multi-layered experience when you come into their home. It's not just a place to lay your head, it's not just a place to pay a mortgage or rent. It is a space that reflects who you are as an individual. So if you've got a favorite scent that you like, maybe try adding that into your bedroom or into your bathroom. Maybe use lavender sachets in your linen drawers and maybe try hanging up some art or having some art of yourself or photos of your family printed. You could even do, you know, old family photos, have them scanned and framed and, and hung up. To wrap up this video, I think that the French are just not afraid to experiment with bold colors. They're not afraid to experiment with unique lighting and fragrances and textures and layers, similarly to how they dress themselves. That might seem a little overwhelming and I don't know if I really communicated or conveyed exactly what the French aesthetic is when it comes to French interior design. If you live in France, let me know, did I nail it? Am I close? Am I far off? What are some other French girl interior design tips or French decor tips that you would provide? What are some of the favorite things that you're wanting to incorporate into your bedroom or into your home that are really French inspired? Again, a huge thank you to Lily Silk and happy anniversary Lily Silk, 11 years, that's amazing. <laughs> That's really incredible. We're wishing you all the best, 11 more years of wonderful success. Don't forget to check the link in the description box for any discount codes to Lily Silk products. You can shop their anniversary sale till the end of August, and you can go ahead and click all the links to these products. They're not affiliate links, but they will take you right to the products themselves. And just as my way of saying thank you, I also have that ongoing Pinterest board where I'm pinning all the coolest things from Lily Silk because truly they have fans fantastic items. And if you're looking to upgrade your bedroom style in any way, I cannot recommend those mulberry silk pillowcases more. They are so luxurious to sleep on and it's just an affordable way to bring a little bit of French girl luxury into your life. Thank you guys so much as always for supporting the channel. Go ahead and like this video if you haven't yet liked it and share it with a friend if they are looking for interior design tips. I hope you guys have a fantastic week wherever you are and I will see you again next time, okay? Take really good care. Bye!